Hi, this is your math prof, Barbara Rademacher. Now let's talk about a homework problem for module three. This is number one. And what you see here looks pretty scary. What it says is in interval notation, the set, and then it writes a set, is written. So we have to talk about set builder notation. All right, what set builder notation is, is we're talking about a set of numbers. You can tell you're dealing with a set anytime you have what are called braces. Braces tell you you're dealing with a set. And what this says is all the numbers on the number line such that, okay? Now we're going to stipulate, well, such that what? Such that x, a number I don't know, is greater than zero. In other words, you're talking about all the positive numbers, all the numbers that are greater than zero. If you were graphing this, you would graph a number line. Let's have zero in the middle here. And then one, two, three, four, you know, numbers like that. And, and the numbers just get bigger as you go out to the right. And so the uh, symbol for that is a sideways eight, which is infinity. Over here, you've got the negative numbers going off to the left. And our symbol for goes forever to the left is a negative sign and infinity and what we call that, let me move it over a little, what we call that is negative infinity. Now, we're looking for all of the numbers greater than zero. Well, let's see, what's greater than zero? One is greater than zero, two is greater than zero, three is greater than zero, four is greater than zero, and as you keep going to the right, I don't know, a hundred is greater than zero, a thousand is greater than zero, the numbers keep getting bigger as you go out to the right. So that means all of these numbers, let me get another color. How about blue? All of these colors out here, all of these colors, all of these numbers going off to the right are in the interval where x is greater than zero. Now, Notice that it doesn't say that x is greater than or equal to zero. So we're not saying that x equals the end point zero. So we're going to use a parenthesis. And that's how we would graph an open interval that goes off to the right forever and ever and ever. And how you would say this in interval notation is parenthesis zero, the end point, comma, infinity, parenthesis. Okay, whenever you write infinity or negative infinity, you always write a parenthesis, you never write a bracket. Now what this says is what this says. We're talking about all the numbers in the universe that are greater than zero. Notice that greater than and to the right of mean exactly the same thing. So any number to the right of another number is greater than that number. Okay, let's go to the next problem and see what that says. It says x is less than 2. I don't know, what numbers are less than 2? 1 is less than 2. 0 is less than 2. Negative 1 is less than 2. In 
in our number system less than and left, oops, left of mean exactly the same thing. So here, if we were graphing, I would graph a number line. Here's zero in the middle, one, two, there's our endpoint two. Here's infinity because the numbers get bigger as you go to the right. And here's negative infinity because the negative numbers go off to the left. Like that, and they both go in both directions forever. The positive numbers go to the right forever, and the negative numbers go to the left forever. Okay, and now we're being asked, well, find all the numbers that are less than 2. Well, uh, 1 is less than 2. Any number to the left of 2 is less than 2. So my graph would actually be an arrow going off to the left forever. And since this is strictly less than, it doesn't say that x actually equals 2, but only that it's less than 2, I would put a parenthesis like that. Okay, well, remember interval notation looks just about like the graph. So on the right, for sure, I would have something that looked like this. But on the left, I don't have an end point. This line is going to go forever. So I will, I will put negative infinity in as my left end point. And I always use a parenthesis around an infinity sign. Okay, let's do another one. Ah, and that's getting into actually solving inequalities. So we'll talk about that in the next recording. Talk to you later.